Good morning, everyone. It is 7.15 in the morning, and it's time for school. Um, I have a story time for this morning. I don't know if I'll get to it um, in the morning, but I was sick, and you can hear it in my voice, but I was sick, and it was pretty interesting, so... I'll tell you about it when I get ready. Alrighty, here is the outfit of the day. Um, yeah, basically I start by brushing my teeth, then I get dressed, then I make my bed. That's just how it works every morning. Otherwise, it's, it's not a good day if I don't do it that way. That's just how it works. <laughs> I have these cute little star ones that I've been wearing recently um, and they were like up on my headboard so it's because I can't sleep with these but if I don't take them off while I'm over here plus I was sick so like wasn't really been moving all that much no actually I was and that's kind of the story part of this is that Saturday I woke up with a sore throat and I was like yeah, no, buddy, that's not happening. We got things to do. We got places to be. Um, so I was like, okay, so that's not going to work for me. Um, so you can find a different day to be sick or just like, don't be sick, you know? Um, so I was kind of refusing it then. And I went out shopping for four hours. Like I was out for four hours. Um, hanging out with G. Um, I can't remember if I've told you about G before, but G is my dad's mom. G is my grandma. G is my love. I love G. Um, so yeah, we went out for like four hours. And we got lunch together and I was feeling good except for my sore throat. Like I had my energy still. I had, um, everything was good, but my throat hurt. Um... And so, like, for lunch, like, I was drinking my drink, and I had gum in to try to, like, you know, like, when you have, like, a hard candy, like, when you're sucking on it, and that helps your throat. So, like, I was doing everything that I could to fix it. I was like, I don't know what more you want from me. Um, and then, after that, when I got home at, like, 2, I had... A driving appointment at three that I I knew about this so that's why I had to be home by two so I could get to my driving appointment for three so um, we're on our way to the driving appointment and I'm still feeling pretty good but um, it's very clear that I'm like getting sick and I keep telling my parents, I'm like, I refuse it. Like, I'm, I'm not getting sick. Like, that's not allowed. Like, not in this household. We're not, we're not doing any of that. So, um, because I was in, like, denial, I was refusing to be sick. Um, I continued daily life as normal, right? Um, it just so happened that it was, like, the busiest weekend of my life. Um, <laughs> Like, not even exaggerating. It was insane. Um, and then I had my driving appointment, which is an hour and a half long. And terrifying, by the way. Let me just say, I'm, I'm not a fan of driving. I'm really not. And everyone's waiting for it to click with me. No, not happening, bud. Which... You can tell by my stubbornness, which my parents, by the way, thought it was so amusing to see me, like, refuse sickness. Like, I was genuinely refusing it. Um, everyone thought that was hilarious. And then after that, after that driving appointment, I, it started to, like, really hit me, like, going a whole day 
being sick and pretending that you're not sick is actually exhausting and I was so over it um so I I was like yeah no, I'm I'm fine I'm fine Needless to say, my mom made me take my temperature and I, I had a bit of a temperature, like it wasn't wild, but it was high, um, higher than normal. So she's like, okay, go up and rest and like, don't do anything, like take it easy babs, you know? And so I mostly listened to that. I, I did, however, work on my book nook, which I'll show you later because because I'm clearly sick and everyone is aware that I'm sick um and we've got plans for tomorrow everyone's like well what do we do now because we can't just like bring a sick child can we we can't because in the morning Sunday morning I woke up and I felt about the same I was like no, we're not sick. No, we're we're not doing that today. But I, I went to this family thing. It was a thing in Toronto. So pretty aggressive stuff, you know, like this isn't just like a little day trip. This is like a whole thing. And it's like, it involves walking. Like, it, it's not a sit around Toronto type of thing. It's drive and we walk and we hang out there and then we drive and then we walk and then we hang out there. Like, it's, it's more than that. And by the, by like two, I was crashing severely. Like, I was actually dying at that point. I was like, I can't, I can't. Um, and then that's what I finally admitted that I was like, okay, I'm sick and I don't feel good, but we're in Toronto now, so kind of can't do much about it because Toronto's like an hour drive from my house. So cute. Um, so yeah, we get home from Toronto and I... Oh, you want to know what was even funnier on Saturday? Um, so my sheets had just gotten washed because my mom was like washing my sister's sheets and was like, I'll throw in yours. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I, I got home from my driver's license lesson and I was so beat. I was so dead and I just wanted to go to bed. Like I, I literally admitted it then. I was like, I just want to like curl up in a ball and sleep like I just don't want to do this right now and she was like okay um unfortunately you have to make your bed still and I was like oh right forgot about that part um so I laid on a pile of pillows on the floor for half an hour and then I felt much better afterwards um life hacks if you're sick lay in a pile of pillows because works wonders was that for that day now yesterday was monday and my mom wouldn't let me go to school because sunday i had a 101 fever i run cold so that is basically unheard of for me um to be that warm was like actually a little concerning she was like okay yeah no like you're not going to school tomorrow. After being like held home that day, I was like, yeah, no, we're, we're done missing school. I hate it. I hate missing school and I want to go. What child like actually begs their mother to let them go to school? What is wrong with me? But also I complain about school all the freaking time. While I'm there, I will complain about it the entire time why did i miss it like why was i so devastated to stay home i don't know but the 
I'm going to lay down the lipstick today because I'm bringing hot chocolate to school and I hate when my thermos has lipstick all over it. It really bothers me. So, light lipstick today. Um, okay. Glasses on. And now I'm basically ready. Um, I'm just going to pack my bag and basically go to school now so oh you want to see i've been taking my new purse to school this is what i've been using for school which by the way i have my chromebook here because i thought that i was going to use it for um music while i while i got ready because that's why i normally do i normally have it on my phone but since i'm recording on my phone i can't do it on there so Long story short, I didn't need music. I listened to 10 seconds of a song and that was me setting it up. Hey y'all, we are at school now. Um, we went through English and you know what? That was a class, I guess. I don't I don't know. What? I don't know what we did in English today. <laughs> oh, I'm still trying to figure it out. 97 times this year. Yeah, we watched a bunch of TED Talks. Maya's here, oh. by the way. Um, yeah, we watched TED Talks and like had to like process them or whatever. I don't really know. Process them. Process them. Uh, dissect them. I don't know. I don't know. It was this whole descriptive explanation thing. But it was like, I don't know. <laughs> I hate when people do that. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. Kind of wasn't really anything, but like also whatever. It was like persuasion was, stuff, I guess. It was, it was special. It was... It was TED special. Talks, and that's always a thing. Anyways, now we're in writer's I never want to watch another so. TED Talk in my life. I hate TED Talks with a passion. Like, Actually, that, that that funny one was pretty funny. Yeah, the guy talking about nothing. that well. <laughs> you could not dissect that well at all. It's like, you this could is use the his idea. This is the technique, but it was like, it was not something you could just... It was face value. Yeah, like... It was very face value. But it was funny. It was funny to watch. But anyways, we're gonna write now and I'll update you when we have like writing done, I guess. Alrighty, so I've actually been home for a hot minute. But I think the last place I was was downstairs having a snack. So here we are. Um, this is the time that I normally do my homework is right after school. Or like take a take a little break and then homework like pretty pretty quickly. So I'm making the layout for my presentation for co-op, which I don't know why I'm doing this. This is the dumbest project I've ever done. But I'm putting the layout for my slideshow, which we're not actually presenting. We're just putting information on a page, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I'm formatting the slideshow. So then tomorrow during, uh, tomorrow, since we have a blended learning day tomorrow, which means we're at home all day. Tomorrow, I just need to put in all the information and we're done. So that's great. But I love this theme. It's all, um, so because we're doing it about a chosen career which by the way that is the ugliest word i've ever seen in my life like the spelling of it is just nasty but anyways i won't get into it um since we've got that like we we pick our own career so i'm doing game designer because that's what i want to do so game designer you get to research your own like topic whatever you want so slay um i also have this notebook here because i want to fill in all the things that i want to get done for tomorrow since i am home i can do a lot more and kind of at my own pace whatever i feel like so we're gonna figure that out later which i don't really know when but it'll happen um yeah, other than that, we just vibing. 
I was on the phone with Maya for like forever because we were talking about a lot of stuff that happened like like a lot of school stuff and some driver stuff because that's the kind of thing we have to think about right now and our normal instructor just was informed that he can't teach anymore so it means that we need to find new instructors and my new instructor which i only have to wait a week to get on a lesson which is better than it was with our first guy because it was like a two week interval between them so this one i get in a week which is good but it's with the instructor from the driving training video which if you've seen that you'll know we did not like her <laughs> So, I have to go be with her, and then, yay, I don't know, Maya has to wait three weeks, so, ha, I get to go in, but, like, I get, I get to get this over with because I hate it, I don't like this at all, it's so annoying, but anyways, hopefully it'll be done soon, one can only hope. Yes, I'm gonna do some work now. Alrighty, so after working for a bit, I just had dinner and now I'm having a cookie because obviously um, that's what seniors do. We have cookies all the time. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm doing a bit of editing now and just kind of hanging out. I'm going to work on that book nook that I was talking about earlier. I promise I will show you. Probably the next clip, but yeah. Just wanted to update you from like here because it's it's obviously been a while. So yeah, we're editing. Okay, we pulled out the tripod for this clip because we're working on the book nook right now. And I want to show you how chaotic my desk gets when I do this. So just like, you seeing that? That is like insane, even for me. Like I've got um, like this, this is like all of the stuff that I've built. Um, some of that needs to be painted. Like the door needs to be painted. The table needs to be painted, but like these are already painted. I need to put handles on that actually. Um, I, I think I'm done that. But there's like these little tiny plants and little fork and spaghetti and a box and many cans, many things. Um, we have a chair here. Um, I'll show you in better detail like all of the things, but like oh my gosh, this this guy is so cute, but he is so annoying and he's wonky and I I can't be bothered to fix it anymore. This little hook here. Anyways, I'm, I'm working on it. Oh my gosh, wait. There's a lantern and this is my favorite part about it, three. Anyways, I'm gonna keep working. There's more plants and stuff, so I'll update you later. Alrighty guys, I'm aware this is like a disaster, but I've been painting, like we've got a door and I'm like working on fence pieces. Oh, don't mind my chip now, it's okay. Um, Like pieces, I'm trying to like, figure out the best way to do this um anyways that was already painted we made flowers we've got all of these little like pieces we got that painted tons of stuff there um the board here is painted which perfect it didn't stick my bad okay um that i i painted this side of it which is all good i don't know I, I still have so much work to do. It's not even funny, but I, I was painting most of these pieces. Like, I had to paint those before I could build the fence. Oh, my bad. I just got paint on my finger again. <sighs> Whoops. Anyways, yeah, those will go on the fence, which I have to build tomorrow. The, these are part of, part of the fence. There's, like, a bag of fence pieces. There's still a bag of all of this stuff like i don't even know what some of this goes to um i have a couple like flower pots to build like i've got that that's what this little 
it is for, which it's got a little label because it's a little garden and I'm pretty sure these go in there. So does this and then you have to put like other foliage in there. Anyways, that's a tomorrow problem. I'll like update you when this is done, not in this video, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm I love these like little book nooks. They're so cute. They're so cute. Like there is literal shelves. Oh, I didn't put anything in there. I hope that's not a problem. I didn't put anything in there. Whoops. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of these things were supposed to go in there. Like, the coffee was supposed to go in there. But it's okay. It's okay. If it, it, worst, if worst comes to worst, I'll, like, take off the back or something. And it's not the end of the world. But I don't know. We'll see. But yes. I'll update you guys in a different video when I get this done because it's taking forever. But anyway, so I found the TikTok that won't be posted for like a week probably, but it's okay because we got other drafts. Oh, okay. We have other drafts to get to, um, but it is like almost eleven now. Oh, it is eleven now. It is eleven now. So. That's my time to get off off camera, have my own time, and go to bed. So I'm going to go get ready for bed, and then I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye. And this is, this is how I live, like 90% of the time, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. This is a day in the life of a senior. And I'm just now realizing how chaotic my life sounds. It's more chaotic than this. Anyways. Rambling at the end of the video. I'm good. I'm, I'm going to get off now. Okay. Goodbye. I love you.